Dr. Eric live on our, our podcast. This is a video podcast that we are here on um, each night of the week and Saturday and Sunday. And uh, we want to welcome you to our podcast. Our podcast is uh, is to look at um, your daily vitamin CBD. Uh, go to uh, daily vitamin CBD um your, your daily vitamin CBD on YouTube, and you can look at um, a number of, of these podcasts, the vignettes uh, that we use to try to get um, things understood about a uh, very, very interesting plant called Cannabis Sativa L. I'm a little bit late tonight. I was I had a, a customer slash a patient. I call all my customers patients because that's who I am and that's what I do. And today was a good day uh, where I saw a number of patients and I think that uh, my educational knowledge helped them a little bit. Okay, I put a long sleeve shirt on for the first time in a, <laughs> in a long time. Uh, um, but I felt like dressing up and so you're the beneficiary of that tonight. Um, but the, the caller was concerned because um, she is 67 years old um, she is uh, went and had her DEXA scan. What is a DEXA scan? A DEXA scan is when you go through uh, and determine if there how much mineralization, which a mineralization is, of your uh, of your skeleton. And she was told that her hips were minus two point five, that she had osteoporosis in her hips and osteopenia in um, her spine. Let me let's define those two words. Number one, osteopenia is uh, a loss of bone mass. Okay, it um, is the precursor to osteoporosis. And this osteopenia occurs when we start losing um, more calcium in our bones than we put in. Now, we make the, it's, a, it's an equilibrium and we use osteoblasts to make bone and we make osteoclasts to uh, to take away bone and and we have a situation where that relate that relationship and ratio can get out of out of sorts when you have more osteoclastic formation than osteoblastic formation osteoclastic is break down osteoblastic is build up then you're going to wind up with a negative and because women when they become menopausal will lose their progesterone and uh, they will then start losing a disproportionate amount of calcium out of their bone, three to four percent per year. And that can be quite devastating for a 67 year old woman that went and became menopausal at 55. So 55, 67, that's 12 years. If you take something, the minimum of three percent, three times 12 is 26. If it was at 4%, 4 percent, four times 12 is 48. That's scary. And that's why we had the discussion tonight, because she's scared, okay, because the hips are osteoporotic. And what happens when you get osteoporosis? Osteoporosis is a diminution, a decrease uh, of the minerals, minerals in your bone and to a point where it becomes hollow. And uh, when you have a hollow, it doesn't take much to crack, to crack the egg, okay? So it becomes very, very difficult uh, not to break a bone. And we are, we're due to have a, a number of osteoporotic fractures this year, okay, in the, uh, in, in the United States of America. So, so we have to, osteopenia is the prerequisite for osteoporosis, okay? So, so that's what we have to have a fear of in, in the whole process of, of aging. And I think I've denoted in the past that uh, if you have a situation uh, that you uh, are osteoporotic, you can break your hip and fall. And many times people say, they, my mother fell and broke her hip. No, mother broke her hip and fell, which is a, which is a marked degree of difference. Now, for this particular customer, I ergo patient, I suggested that um, because uh, depression has been a factor that she get her two path. And she's been taking CBD for some time. Uh, I don't know, not necessarily um, vitamin CBD, but she's been taking uh, because of CBD because of depression. 
and I explained to her that depression is one of the things that is a chronic and low-grade chronic inflammation, that depression is indeed that, and she spelled it out well. This is a woman that is a, a cancer survivor and uh, wants to keep up on it and would like to live longer, and I guess the cancer certainly has and makes a great appreciation for her on, on why she wants to do the things that she does. So I recommend it, you know, to start Two Path. Uh, she wanted to know the website, www.dailyvitamincbd.com. And uh, that was um, that was for her to go and get started. Um, if she's on CBD already, great. My Two Path is especially good for depression, anxiety, okay, and for TBI, and traumatic brain injuries, which uh, oftentimes are, are present. Um, I can't see all of my patrons on tonight because I'm on my computer, um, but I usually have Kit and uh, and Susan on, and they probably are, because uh, I see X number of people on. It's just that I'm on my computer, and I don't necessarily see them in the same fashion going going forth. So that's that was my that was why I was late. So I have I have an excuse, you know. Remember the excuse you used to give for homework that my dog ate my homework, okay, or or the house burned down. I mean, there was a number of reasons that we used when we didn't fulfill uh, our our homework assignments. Um, but nevertheless, um, we were quite creative in those days. Um, so so that's uh, um, I will tell you that I got. Um, um, a magazine today, and it, it's old because I've gone and joined three other medical societies. But I think that um, that it had some very interesting headlines. Here's the number one headline that that it had. Okay, and it talked about the fact that cannabis enables okay pain patients to cut opioid use. Availability would reduce ER visits. Okay, and OD deaths. That's overdose deaths, and and that's very very true. And um, that paper is over uh, over a year old, uh, but I joined the organization and they sent it to me. And uh, here's here's another another piece of the paper, and it talks about the cannabis female um, uh, flower. And I've talked about that as well, and telling you, teaching you that it is the female flower where we get our resin from. So um, I have some homework to do tonight in order to start reading this magazine. Even though it's a year old, it gives me a good solid foundation of, of where we're where we're going uh, in the uh, in the future. So that's uh, that's what we we have. Let's try our credo. Can we try our credo uh, uh, tonight? Have you had your daily vitamin CBD today to help reduce your chronic low grade inflammation to support your immune system? Okay, we're getting an increasing amount of uh, of, of people that uh, that have um, COVID-19 and then they have a number of other problems. Have we or do we have our CBL immune system at its top level? Vitamin C, very, very important for the immune system. Are you getting enough vitamin C? Are you taking a multivitamin? A multivitamin, is not, excuse me, is nothing more than a supplement, okay, toward uh, toward giving the body the, the necessary entities that it needs to function at the highest level possible. And that's that's why I want you all to write the, the, your House of Representative House Bill uh, 8179 and ask for passage of it because it will take uh, CBD to a, to, a, um, to a supplement standpoint and it will kill some of the restrictions that they want to put on um, the medication. It's an age-old medication, been around for 8,000 years. We're just finding new ways of getting getting to it. Um, met with a, a doctor, well, I thought he was a doctor, but he was actually um, a chef that uh, basically, um, and I, not my chef, because my chef has helped to formulate the nano emulsified uh, blueberry jellies, which are awfully good, fantastic. Okay, and uh, we have them now in 450 milligram lots as well as 900 milligrams lots. But you have to Facebook me because the new brochure has them in the new brochure. The new brochure is being printed at the present time. As soon as the new brochure is printed, then we will put it out on the uh, on the website. <clears throat> and we don't want to put it on the website until we get the brochure so that everything is contiguous and, uh, and in order. So, um, so that's, um, that's some of what we have tonight for you. 
um, osteopenia versus osteoporosis. Osteopenia is just a precursor to osteoporosis. Don't think you're going to run around it, um, but go forth and, and attack it. So let's do that, okay? It's my pleasure talking with you tonight. I want you to go forth and have a good night. Please treat someone that uh, in your community good. Uh, Maine has had a, a, a rapid rise and increase in number of positive covert cases. You stay and keep yourself healthy, and I will see you back tomorrow, God willing. Please, thank you, and I will.